I had been coming into the store the prior three or four years, uh, having spent my weekends fishing here. And the gentleman working here said the store is for sale. As over uh, the next couple of months, uh, the conversation progressed, uh, and the owner was uh, ready to retire from the fly fishing business. We actually uh, completed a transaction in an old-fashioned way on uh, Goodwill and a handshake. If I were in this industry and didn't fish, I, it might be the definition of insanity. Um, most of us who choose to be in this business are in it because we have a personal attachment to the sport. There are much easier ways to make a living in today's society, so all of us are doing this not only because uh, we wanted to work within the industry, but because we all have a distinct passion for the sport. even get asked that question today. How do you find rising fish in the Catskills? And some nights it's they're there and some nights you got to look for them but ultimately there's no substitute for time. And, 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 and spending enough time in the water you will see what you want to see. It's just a function of you investing the amount of time necessary to find it because fish are unpredictable, weather conditions and water conditions are unpredictable and um, you can increase your chances by following the weather, by looking at water conditions and by the time of year, but ultimately um, we've had some days in September that have been as good as any day we have in the spring. Uh, and it's just the people who chose to engage it, hit it right and things worked out. And at a time of year when they might have been one or two, three people on the river, uh, they got some of the best fishing of the year. So uh, there's no substitute for time.